Internets, here is something I've been meaning to share with you for years. I'm talking about anti-skating on a record player. Now, there's many ways to set it up, and there's actually only one good one. And the good way is to use a test record and an oscilloscope, or a computer oscilloscope, you don't have to have a real one. But you need some pretty serious equipment and a quite expensive test record. Now, not everyone is capable of doing that or willing to invest in that. But there's a method that actually works rather well. It's not setting the anti-skating to the same uh, value as the weight, it doesn't work. It's also not setting the anti-skating on a, uh, a grooveless disc, that also doesn't work. What does work, it gets you about 85% of the way, definitely not the perfect method, but definitely something that works, is this. So, if you look at a spinning record and you put the stylus on it, you will see that the stylus, sometimes you hit the groove right away, which is exactly what we don't want now. But in most cases you will see it see, sink into the first groove. Now, this goes quite nicely and smoothly, no aggression there. But what happens if I turn the anti-skating all the way down? Look at this. Ooh, did you see it go? It skipped. Oh, it actually skips the first few grooves of the record, right? That's not good. Now what if I turn the anti-skating all the way up? Okay, it actually goes outside. Now I must say this is a record play with very aggressive anti-skating. But with like a normal record player, if you had your anti-skating a bit too high, you would see it sort of go slightly back and then find the groove, or it will sort of, I'm gonna turn it down a bit more, it will sort of doubt, it will not be sure, see, not be sure where it really wants to go. Now it's sort of going inside, but if I turn it up a bit more, you will see, it's, see, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, it just stays put and doesn't find its groove, it's just waiting for the groove and there it goes. Now what you will find is that when you get the anti-skating right, using a test record and an oscilloscope the way it's supposed to be done. You will find that the stylus drops into the groove smoothly, not aggressively, doesn't skip inwards, doesn't pull outwards every time. Like this. See, it goes inwards, but very smoothly. It just finds the groove without hesitation every time, but also without aggression. And again, sometimes you hit the groove right away and it doesn't do it at all, because it will just be in the groove. But if you just drop the stylus a few times, you will see what it does. I would actually put it a bit further up. It's still going in a bit too aggressively for my liking. You see? There you go. Nice and smooth. Boop. Boop. It needs to do this every time. If it skips inwards, only once. If it go, just goes like, boop, it's too low. And if it goes outward, or if you see it sort of skate and search for the groove, it's too high. The perfect anti-skating setting, or at least as close as you will get with this method, is sort of this. And that's how I set up my anti-skating if I'm in a hurry. And if I have plenty of time, I use an oscilloscope and a test record. But then I find every time when I do it properly, that this will be the result. It will sink into the groove in a nice controlled manner. Again, this is not the perfect method. It will not get you 100% there. And that's way more things that you need to get right, vertical tracking angle, um, your, uh, your, your weight, of course, your, your stylus force, uh, and your overhang, which is a whole different story. But if you got those right and you're looking for your anti-skate setting and you don't have the, the equipment to get it right, to do it properly, this is the way to do it. Um, it will get you as close as you will get without equipment, uh, and it will definitely get you closer than using a blank disc or setting it to the weight of the, the cartridge. Uh, because in this case my end skating is set to 3 and the weight is 1.9 so there's, there's no link there I mean there is a link between weight and anti skating but it's not like that and uh, yeah so uh, there you go that's the way I set up my anti skating when I'm in a rush and uh, I highly recommend you try it and listen for distortion and you will see that it actually gets you super close so um, I hope uh, this is useful for you and I wish you all a great night from the Netherlands